Hey there. In the last video, we talked about the importance of aligning your priorities with different investment asset classes to make sure that they match and align. We're going to continue on that discussion and talk about a few different asset classes and how they compare in this video. So this is where we left off the last one. Whoops, there we go. But we started with stocks. Now let's look at a profile for bonds. Not a lot of upside potential in bonds, especially if you're familiar with what's going on now. It's the it's mid-year 2022. Interest rates are kind of going crazy. This is a major headwind for bonds because interest rates have been low for so long. The likelihood of bonds returning in the future for the next you know decade or two, the way they've returned in the last decade or two, is pretty unlikely. There's a pretty strong headwind because interest rates are rising. But uh, but that's that's a particular thing about bonds that I'm kind of concerned about. It's a more stable market than the stock market, so it's a little bit better there. It's also very liquid, right? We can buy and sell bonds pretty quickly. Not a lot of leverage opportunity in bonds. Maybe there should be a little bit there because you can also buy bonds and things on margin. That is some leverage. Um, but most investors don't leverage bonds very much. It does produce income. It isn't an increasing income. It's, uh, it's an income that's based on interest rates, so it doesn't get a full circle there. It is, it is not a tangible asset. There's, there's some meaningful inflation risk with bonds. Uh, it's not a very tax efficient way to invest. And although the bond itself can be insured, we can't insure a certain outcome that we'll be able to sell the bond for what we bought it for or more. So it's got some insurance there built into the bond itself, but our investment in that isn't necessarily um, th the same as holding the bond from beginning to end. So that's a profile for bonds. Here's a quick profile for cash. Right? Not a lot of upside potential in cash, but it's a very stable thing. It's very liquid and it's insurable. Right, The FDIC insures our cash, but it does everything else pretty poorly. But cash is important. right? We need that for these features that it offers. Annuities in general, also very stable. And it's a little less liquid than most things. Here's a couple things to note. They do produce generally pretty good income as far as the amount that you can get, but it is generally an inflation uh, risk on the income. So it's an income that doesn't usually go up over time. There are some that will rise with income or will will rise with uh, inflation, but uh, they generally start out significantly lower in the beginning. So it doesn't, it's okay for income. Again, it's got some uh, some blind spots there or some, some weaknesses there, but it's generally used often for income. It's not a very good inflation hedge. It is a contract. That's it. Um, and they're, they're not very tax efficient, although kind of depending on how you align them, they sort of can be, depending on what you do with them. But insurance, is, I mean, that's what annuities are. They are, you're insuring that you get a guaranteed income for the rest of your life. So it is strong in the insurance piece. So in the next video, I will talk about real estate and talk about the different nuances there. But this is a good way to just a quick bird's eye view. Again, I'm glossing over some nuance, but it's a quick way to get started in determining what kind of investment makes sense based on your personal priorities with a certain amount of investing. My name is Brady Mullen with the Kevin Green team at Cross Country Mortgage, and we team up with investment-minded real estate agents every day to help people apply the concepts of investing in real estate in their investment portfolio. So I always end by saying, imagine owning tangible investments that for ages have produced great returns. They're a fantastic hedge for inflation. They provide increasing income and they have significant tax benefits. So connect with your realtor today to begin building wealth in real estate. Thanks for watching.